Yo, what's up guys, Sam here, and today we're going to be doing some street photography with a black and white film, specifically Ilford Delta 400. So the one thing about film that's so amazing is that there are so many different film stocks to try, but the problem is, is that sometimes it can be hard to find, you know, the your your go-tos, the ones that you can't live without, the ones that you're doing most of your personal projects on. And I found my, you know, the, the color film that I want to be shooting for the rest of my life. And I'm currently experimenting with black and white films that I want to be using for a majority of my projects. I've been mostly shooting with HP5, which I love. But I've always found it a little bit too grainy in most of the shots, even if you're overexposed. So uh, I decided, I was reading online and they said that Delta 400 was a nice alternative. So the first few shots were taken with the Canon AE-1. Uh, it was a really really torrential rain at that point and there was a small flash flood. I think this was taken in Churras if I'm not mistaken. So I've definitely recently been drawn to black and white film for some reason, I don't know, I just think that it's a really really nice medium to capture photos. Um, there's this feeling that you get that's a little bit different with colour but for the most part I do prefer colour. And the one thing I do realise about Delta 400 is that it's nice and contrasty like HP5 but it doesn't have the grain structure that HP5 has. HP5 its grain is quite pronounced and coarse, but Delta 400 seems to be a little bit more subdued. Uh, not so obvious, which I particularly like. So this is fast forward to another day. Uh, I switched out the roll. It's actually the same roll. Uh, I just took it out from the AE-1 and moved it to another camera because I was testing on another camera. So we come to my more favourite parts of this entire photo walk, uh, the sun was really really nice, a uh, really nice morning sun and as you can see really strong, very nice, uh, creates a lot of contrast and mood, uh, the shot just you know the, the lines of the light leading towards the person sitting down and the lady next to him. Uh, going down the escalator, I saw this really nice uh, streak of light coming in with the shadows. I wish I took the shot higher up instead of uh, right over here when it was a bit lower. I think uh, it's less dynamic. But I love the long shadows and just the amount of people that are just going in and out. So as I was walking, you know, I turned around and saw, you know, just the shadows of people walking in and out. Uh, I, this is probably one of my favorite shots because I love how deep and rich the blacks are uh, and the, the highlights are really strong as well back here just waiting for the right moment and bam uh, i don't really like this picture it is nice compositionally uh, i just wish the movement of the person was a little bit more natural versus like in the moment kind of like not really nice looking walking shot not a shot that i'm particularly interested in i was just testing whether this lens could focus to infinity Old guys looking at my camera. <laughs> I do like this shot. This reminds me a little bit. It, it has this really movie-like nostalgia feel. So I, I, I think that's a 
part and parcel of why I truly enjoy black and white photos now, it seems to me like they're like a blur uh, of the moment. Uh, like just like this image, uh, I wish it was a little bit uh, brighter, but you know, I misjudge my exposure. But yeah, going back to black and white film, I think it's like this, it reminds me of a moment in time where I'm trying to remember, but I can't really recall the details. Um, it's it's something special and I think there is a very specific use case when you're shooting street photos uh, more so you know when you're trying to capture specific moments capture fleeting moments on the street I think these are pictures that when people look back in time they are more of like a blur of the moment uh, which is something I, I really like about the feeling that black and white gives I think this is probably my favorite shot of the entire day, just the reflections of the skyline and the light against the against the windows are really beautiful. Just looks like something out of a painting, <laughs> something I particularly like. Something I do like about black and white film as well is that I feel like compared to color film, you're allowed to make more mistakes with black and white film. <laughs> I don't know, like once again, the black and white just invokes feeling because I think it takes away the distractive elements of color and it can provide a really much more refined look at the scene and I think that's why I'm starting to pick up black and white a lot more. Just like this shot, you know, it's not really, you know, tech sharp in focus but it the shot really just works uh, and just here just trying to burn off a couple of rolls before I send for developing uh, yeah just my thoughts I think I might be switching HP 5 over to Delta 400 I think the look is something that I particularly prefer uh, in this shot on the train uh, I, I try to get like a, something more a little bit more interesting but I'm not so sure why there was a double image I think the reflection on the windows I wish I took the time to compose it properly rather than hip fire uh, but then again I think this shot really encapsulates what I was trying to explain about black and white film it's just like that that whole allowing you to remember the moment but not in a way that is so refined like on color so yeah thank you guys so much if you enjoyed this video uh, i would appreciate a like share and subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot i do want to do more street photography povs with film if so if you have any ideas i would love to know them uh, let me know down in the comments below thank you so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one